Everyone knows the safest place to keep valuables is in a safe deposit box, right? These folks thought their possessions were 100% secure at the U.S. private vaults in Beverly Hills. We found this place. We went and visited and talked to the people who were there. My husband did some research on where to find a storage for this type of thing. We have uh, silver coins. The ad promised high-tech security. Identified. As well as a no-questions-asked policy. Allowing your identity to remain completely anonymous. They do have good reviews. They're in a nice location. But then came a major shock. The facility was raided by the FBI, reportedly looking for drug cartel money. But nothing prepared them for what happened next. The government opened every safe deposit box and seized more than $86 million in property from everyone. That means from alleged criminals hiding their ill-gotten gains to regular folks who just wanted a safe place to store their valuables. Are they making you feel like you're the criminal? Yes, my gosh, yes. For Jenny Pearsons, her silver coins were an important part of her retirement plan. If they can do this, what is it that they can't do? Joseph Ruiz says the government took $57,000 he got from a legal settlement. He walked in on the raid in progress. I am being treated like a criminal right now. Um, they stole my stuff. When I was there, they asked if I was part of the cartel. Jennifer and Paul Snitko say their family treasures, like a grandfather's gold watch and inherited gold bracelets, were in their safe deposit box. I felt powerless. I felt depressed that my own government did this to me. 